Good afternoon. I'm J. Michael McCoy, and this is Uniquely Urbandale. I'm here with Mary Harkin from the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, Mary. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. And you've got lots of wonderful guests. Our next guest, I, I don't think I'd want to mess with her in a dark alley. No. I think she'd beat me, wouldn't she? <laughs> her name is Amanda Lundstedt. Did I get that right? You did. You All right. Did. And you are with Active Edge Massage. And where is that? I am located inside of the YMCA Healthy Living Center on oh. University Avenue in Clive. Oh. So I am my own business. I simply rent space there. But for those who may not be familiar with that area or that um, campus location, it's directly across the street from Mercy West Hospital in yeah. West Des Moines. I'm there every Tuesday from noon to one for a Bible study. Excellent. I'll come Excellent. by and see you. Definitely. You guys got the new fresh... Uh, yes, brand new fresh cafe. Yeah, yeah that's love neat. it. Love having it there. All right, so um, you're a massage therapist. Yes, indeed. I'm a licensed massage therapist, okay. and I specialize, Mac, in sports and orthopedic massage therapy. So how I approach massage in my practice and my niche is working with athletes and medical cases for massage. Okay. So think less spa and more therapeutic and medical massage. Okay. Yeah, somebody here, who, who was it that said you had gone, and she's good? Deep, what do they call that? Deep, deep pressure. Tissue? Deep, deep tissue pressure. or deep pressure. Either okay. or. Deep tissue is a common term. Yeah. All right. And obviously you're an athlete also because you were talking about running. <laughs> I am. I am. I race triathlon and I also do run and I do some CrossFit. Okay. So. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. Try. That means swimming, mm -hmm. bicycling, and running. Yep. That's well, right. Are you nuts? <laughs> I love it. It do keeps you? me healthy. For me, it's a stress reliever too. Being an entrepreneur and a business owner, we all have to have our little yeah, outlets. That's I know my... how that feels. All right. So where are you from originally? I'm originally from Des Moines. I was born and raised here and I went to Roosevelt High School. So go Rough Riders. Go Rough Riders. Yep, that's right. Good. Okay. And your husband, what does he do? He is actually in IT, specifically cybersecurity. So Smart he's, guy. he's Smart employed guy. at my alma mater. I'm a Drake grad and he's okay. now employed there at the university any babies yet nope nope just any four-legged ones two two cats that run around yep they okay. are they in my practice i joke are my babies right now sure absolutely <laughs> absolutely so what got you interested in massage and specifically sports massage great question um i love kinesiology and the movement of the body and and um, healthcare and medicine very fascinate me very much um, but I also love people. I love serving people. I love being with people. I'm a very extroverted person. So when I finished my business degree at Drake, um, sitting in a cubicle for me wasn't really an option. Yeah. I wanted to have opportunities where I could kind of make my own path and also do things that interested me and things that I loved. And that's where massage, specifically sports massage, all came together. And it's been fun and it's a passion of mine and, and I love it. What, what does active edge massage look like in five years, 2020? Sure. Uh, a lot of different things running around in my head as far as where I would like to take it. Um, I thought about having other therapists on my team. Right now I am a solo practitioner, but I've thought about having other therapists in partnership with me. Um, I've also thought about um, coaching other massage therapists sure. or possibly even writing or teaching sports massage therapy. Yeah, now where did you go to school to learn to be a massage therapist? Sure, I went to Body Wisdom Massage School, which is in Urbandale. Okay. And there I was actually able to um, do my initial licensing training for the state of Iowa. And then my sports massage training also began there. I studied with um, a gentleman actually who's a sports massage therapist for all the major teams in Atlanta. He flew up and um, taught us at Body Wisdom right here in Urbandale. And, uh, and then from there, Mac, I've done some continuing education um, at a chiropractic school in Dallas, Texas. And then I'm um, already looking to study with another sports massage therapist next year out of Champaign, Illinois. So it's, a, it's an ongoing thing. Yeah, it's so. ongoing education. Okay, Absolutely. so I don't know anything about massage. Sure. So why should I have massage? Absolutely. It is one of the best things you can do for proactive health care. It is also reactive, but it's going to come in more into effect for proactive. So keep your muscles loose, keep them from getting fatigued, reduce your um, chances of having injury, help you recover from an injury more quickly. Um, all of those things are going to come into play with massage, specifically sports massage therapy. Okay. What about old guys like me? <laughs> sure. I don't run. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, absolutely. You're um, going to be able to move more easily after having a massage. I actually work with, um, uh, my grandfather comes in and sees me. Um, he's had multiple um, joint replacements, um, but it helps him feel better and also increases his range of motion through his body. All right. Amanda Lundstedt, Lundstedt, Lundstedt. is her name. 
Active Edge Massage. It's in the, uh, what'd you call it? The Living? The, the YMCA Healthy Living Center. Right. Right there on University, across from Mercy, across from Biagi's. Yep. Uh, and I would, I would guess, and you don't have to say anything on this, but my guess is if the Y lets you be a part of their business, you must be pretty good. Well, thank you. I mean, seriously, though. <laughs> you know, they can't have... Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's move over to Mary Harkin. She is the membership director at Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Every Tuesday, uh, they have a 9 o'clock coffee with free coffee. And this coming Tuesday, Mary's going to teach backgammon. <laughs> Got a little net out there on, on 86th, it. right? Yes, and little, yes. Tennis, right? Absolutely. What are the other advantages of coming by on Tuesdays? (laughs) Well, we have special guests pop in on those Tuesday meetings. Like this morning, we had Meg Fitz with the Greater Des Moines Partnership. She presented to our group, and she talks about the benefits that all of our members receive through a complimentary membership that we provide every one of our members to a connection of 5,000 regional members across the, the area. That's awesome. So we do features like that. I'll come in. We'll have a meeting where we focus on online benefits. So I'll go through how to post a hot deal, how to post a job opening, how to do a press release. So we have different features too, but the coffee is delicious and the conversation's unique because every member that comes in gets to kind of talk about what they have on their mind. What are their questions? And we really focus on the member. Best way to promote your business, be a part of the chamber. I've been a member of the Urbandale Chamber for years and uh, they are a very good organization. They really... They really do stand above most Chamber of Commerces, and I'm not just saying that, but they, they really do. That's why we do this program uh, for them. Uh, we're not paid for this. I do this as a service to my fellow members in Urbandale because I want the word to get out about Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. All right, I'm J. Michael McCoy. We'll be back in just a minute with another exciting business from Urbandale, and we'll talk about that one next here on Uniquely Urbandale. Live. Hi, I'm J. Michael McCoy, and about 20 years ago, I went to a used car salesman by the name of John Hewitt. He had a little shop over there on North 2nd Avenue called John's Auto Sales, and I bought a car. I found that experience to be one that I had never had before from a used car salesman. He was honest, he was dependable, he had integrity, and he did what he said he was going to do. Well, over the years, between my kids and grandkids, I purchased seven vehicles from John's Auto Sales. And last month, I asked him to be a sponsor. I can tell you about their huge selection. I can tell you about their years of experience. I can tell you about their honest integrity. But all I really need to tell you is that I bought seven cars, and you can trust them. John's Auto Sales, 5435 2nd Avenue, Des Moines. You need a good ride when you hit the trail. Trust the man with the cars, and he goes by the name of Big John. Big John. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can return the grandkids, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We'll help you put the fun.